Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite mental models and this is actually a 2x2 two two matrix. Well, there's a variety of mental models out there and uh, I think a fair amount of them are also 2x2 two two matrices and I do, really do like them. 2x2 um, two two matrices have their downsides but I really do like them because they create an immediate clarity and they help us understand and can dissect a problem. One of my favorite mental models and whenever I work with somebody where they don't really know how to proceed and there's multiple courses of actions that could be done by themselves or a team. One of the mental models that can be used in this one is what I would call the impact effort matrix. So on one side you look at impact of your solutions, ideas, whatever it is. On the other side you look at the effort that it takes. So that could be high impact and that could be low impact, that could be high uh, low effort and high effort. And then as in all of these 2x2 two two matrices, again oversimplification, but what they help us is to, 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 to come to the essence of a problem. What you always do is like look a little bit, okay, where would that fall in? And of course for your specific problem or idea one has to analyze it where, what is the right scale and so on for this, but in general as usual here in 2x2 two two matrices we can find four fields. And I really do like that because it's, um, you, you can look at, okay, what does take me maybe low effort to implement and might have a low impact up there. So it's the typical quick wins that I saw. That could be like, hey, maybe I change that one shortcut and I get something out of my daily routine. Or in a team, it could be maybe like, hey, maybe we change the meeting routine like this and this. Low effort to do this, maybe not the greatest impact, but, you know, it has some impact. These are here. These are the quick wins that one can achieve. Then of course we can have like really the stuff very often that has big impact but also takes quite some big effort. Investment plans in personal finance, in teams and projects could be like a major reorganization or IT investments and so on. These are here the big focus areas and so on. Big effort but also big 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 impact. Then sometimes do we have low effort High impact? Well, maybe sometimes there's that. Maybe that small habit change that you do every morning. Maybe these are some things. In general, these are quite rare, but these are, of course, the big things that you want to do. I mean, if you find anything that has a low effort and super high impact, well, by all means, do it. Huh? These are superstar things, but are quite rare things. These are almost like what I would call the the unicorn, uh, the unicorn things basically that are out there. Maybe some of them might exist, small of them might exist sometimes, but not always. Basically, it's very hard to come by some of those, but who knows? And then, of course, you have some things they live, especially in the corporate world, big, big, big effort, low impact, like a massive reorganization or the introduction of a massive, massive, whatever it is, video conferencing tool that nobody's going to use in the end. Big effort, big money and so on that has to be put in. An effort that can be resources, any kind of like people, money, all of these things basically and might have a low impact. These are of course things that you try to avoid at all costs. And here's the thing, whenever you have lots of options available to you, it's very often not an either or. Very often you can create a portfolio of options, be that with your team, be that for yourself if you want to, whatever it is, whatever project you have in mind. If you want to write a book, if you want to um, uh, create whatever, real estate portfolio, whatever it is, you can have always like different kind of options of ideas what you can do. The thing is, you can take that mental model, cluster it in a way and try to see like, hmm, if I find what's my impact effort matrix here, where do these things last? And you will find that you have quite a distribution of things. Now, the, what I w very often recommend is to look at what is the corridor, what is the mix of the stuff that helps us like to get big efforts and maybe to balance the quick wins. And the, really the secret of success, especially if you work with organizations, is to balance a couple of those. Work on the big ticket items that take the time, but that will have, re rewards, uh, have big rewards, but also bring in, especially at the beginning, these quick things in. And sometimes they call it the low-hanging fruits, the quick wins, whatever it is. The stuff that doesn't take so long, but that shows immediate results. And very often I recommend to have a balance of these here in your portfolio and also if you structure your, your days, weeks and so on, work on both of these areas to get, that, um, to get started with whatever it is you're working on. Again, it's a thinking tool, it's not the absolute reality, it's an oversimplification, but it very often helps us to see where does it lie and then to see like, hey, 
Maybe I want to have a portfolio of the two. So that was it. Quick thinking tool, one of my favorite mental models to, to quickly approach, especially if there's a multitude of options out there, the effort impact matrix. See you soon for new tools, new ideas and so on on leadership, strategy and innovation.